In round 10, start with one chain stitch. Then work a sack of three single crochets, one decrease for six times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work three single crochets. Then work one decrease. A regular stitch has two loops. The loop close to us is the front loop. While the other one far from us is the back loop. We will make decrease through the front loops of the next two stitches. Insert the hook through the front loops of the next two stitches. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the two front loops on hook. There are two loops on the hook now. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on hook. One decrease is done. Decrease is to combine two stitches into one stitch. There are two ways to make a decrease. Method 1 Insert hook through the front loops of two adjacent stitches. The loop close to us is a front loop. Hook the yarn and pull up loop through the two front loops on hook. Yarn on the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a decrease. Work three single crochets and one decrease is one set. Keep working five more sets. The second set. Work three single crochets first. Then work one decrease. Insert hook through the front loops of the next two stitches. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the two front loops on hook. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on hook. The third set with three single crochets. And one decrease. The fourth set with three single crochets and one decrease. The fifth set with three single crochets and one decrease. The sixth set 
with three single crochets and one decrease. Finally, with one slip stitch, round 10 is done. In round 11, start with one chain stitch, then work a stack of one decrease, two single crochets for six times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. With one chain stitch first, the first sets with one decrease to combine two stitches into one stitch. Then work two single crochets. With one decrease and two single crochets is one set. Keep working five more sets. We have demonstrated three sets. Please finish the rest three sets by yourself with one decrease and two single crochets as one set. Finally, with one slip stitch in the first stitch. Round 11 is done. In round 12, start with one chain stitch, then work a stack of one single crochet, one decrease for six times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. With one chain stitch first. With one single crochet. Next, with one decrease. With one single crochet and one decrease is one set. Keep working five more sets. The second set with one single crochet and one decrease. We have demonstrated two sets. Please finish the rest four set by yourself. With one single crochet and one decrease is one set. Finally, with one slip stitch in the first stitch. Round 12 is done. Then stuff the fabric with fiber fill. Please finish this set by yourself. After stuffing, let's start round 13. In round 13, start with one chain stitch and then work 6 decreases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first, then work 6 decreases.
Finally, we one slip stitch in the first stitch. Round 13 is done. Break yarn. Yarn tail over the hook and put the yarn tail out. Then use the yarn needle to sew hole close by stitching through the front loops only of the last round. Put the yarn tail tight. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric. And finally, cut off excess end. The head is completed. Please crochet the head of the white goats in the same way on your own.